This was a shed hunt I went on with my little chocolate hub Susie back in 2011. I wanted to search some new hard to reach areas in one of my old faithful shed hunting spots. My plan was to cross a large coulee to access some big aspen bluffs on the opposite bench. Little did I know, the day that I was there was during the peak spring runoff and the creek in the coulee bottom was at the highest it would get for the whole year. I desperately did not want this to throw a wrench into my shed hunting plans for the day, so I spent quite a bit of time walking downstream trying to find a narrow enough spot to cross. After a few failed attempts, I found a spot at an old beaver dam that seemed doable. I stopped and put my binos and camera gear away, cinched up my backpack nice and tight, and took the leap. I ended up clearing the channel with ease, but it was far from graceful. Susie did not quite make the jump, but I'm pretty sure she wanted to go for a swim anyway. Now that we were across, it was time to look for some sheds. Alright, so here we are. Susie and I are out shed hunting today. We just uh, we parked in a spot there this morning that uh, I've kind of never been to before. I knew I had to cross a creek to get here. Um, but I wanted to park there because it's kind of a central spot to uh, a couple of the areas that I want to hit up there today. So what we're trying to do today here is um, trying to look in some areas that I really haven't uh, shed hunted in in the last few years, actually ever. Um, kind of remote spots, kind of off the beaten path a little bit. Um, areas that I've wanted to get to over the last few years and just never been able to. Uh, just other areas in mind and that sort of thing. But uh, with those areas getting picked over by myself and, and other shed hunters, I figure uh, get back into some more of these remote areas. Yeah. Probably a good idea. I worked out yesterday, ended up with 15 sheds. So hoping to... Uh, I don't think I'll get quite there today, but uh, hopefully we'll we'll pick up a few anyway. So we've got major food about a mile to the west here, and major food about a mile to the or a mile and a half to the to the east uh, this winter. Uh, both grain piles and a grain pile and a and a pea field up this way. And this is kind of the kind of the bedding areas to where all the deer kind of come back from both of those those food sources. So. This is about the furthest point that they, they come. As I just came up through the valley here, there was uh, a whole bunch of whitetails that spooked out of this bluff right over here. So my plan is to hit some of these bluffs and coolies coming back off of the major food. And uh, hopefully we can pick up a few sheds. Hey, Suze. Do you want to go for a walk? Okay. Well, no sheds yet, but... Uh... Been going for oh, probably 20 minutes, half an hour. Not that great a sign. But uh, we're getting into some neat country here. Kind of a swampy area here. Lots of deer tracks in here though. Well, we've made it through the first little coulee system and uh, kind of came up into the fields here. So I'm heading towards uh, the major food in the winter uh, in a canola field right here, which is just a beeline trail across it into this pea field where they're feeding and the grain bins are at the, uh, the grain piles at the far side here so pea field is really short stubble so if there's uh, anything uh, any st substantial antler it, uh, it should be pretty obvious from uh, from a long ways off and there's not a lot of terrain out there either so uh, anything there we uh, we should be able to see so I'm gonna walk across it a little bit and uh, head back down 
into the next uh, coolie system uh, bedding area. So hopefully we can find something that's been quite a while here. Nothing yet. So I came back out of the pea field here and uh, back into the second coolie that I want to walk through. Thought I'd just stop for a little bit of a break here and have a snack. Found eight sheds in this coolie last year in such a real small area too so that's where right where I am right now so I'm just sitting here for the last 10 minutes eating my jerky and my nut snacks and uh, I look over and there's an old shed line there probably about 10 yards away not even I'm sitting there the whole time I was I was here so that's how easy they are to uh, to walk by just Depends on which trail you take or which route you go. You might end up with 15 like I did yesterday, or you might not end up with any. But well, I'm gonna walk over and uh, grab this thing and see what it looks like. shed but uh, shed nonetheless so hopefully that'll start things off here and uh, hopefully it'll just pick up from here now hey Susan I did find one old one, but I'm pretty sure it was one that I found uh, last year that I just left. But finally, this is not far from where uh, I started this morning after Susie and I crossed the first creek. We're kind of getting back to that point, so let's go check it out. Quite a few years. Oh wow, it's 
got some good mass to it. Oh. Wow. That's a big heavy four. Well, today we only got one so far. Susie. Sus. Well, even though we only got one so far today, even though we only got one so far today, it's a pretty nice one. And uh, we've walked a lot of miles today already. And uh, this is pretty much all we have to show for it, but uh, if we don't find another one all day today, that's okay, because uh, this one's a pretty nice shed. It's pretty awesome. But that doesn't mean we're not going to try to find more, so. You ready, Suze? Well, as you can see behind me, we are now on the other side of the creek again. This time uh, I got a little bit wetter than I did the first time. I had to pull out my uh, Olympic uh, long jumping skills and when I was about halfway through the air I realized I was not going to make it. So I'm a little wet. Susie fared a little better this time than she did the first time so we're, uh, we're tied. So now that I'm across here just making my way up the slope and uh, just getting out of breath and I look over to the left and uh, there's a pretty big shed lying on a slope over here so there's a pretty thick uh, coulee right here that uh, I'm gonna have to either crash my way through or or get up and uh, go around but anyway it actually looks pretty decent so let's go get it there was the creek we just crossed and there's exactly where I did uh, my Olympic long jump. I think it was right there. And now we're going to go pick up the shed. I decided to come around instead of crash through that thick bush. But then enough that day. So that shed should be uh, just up over here somewhere. There it is. Right there. Oh wow. That's a pretty nice ender. I'll take that, that's for sure. Right on. Oh man, this is this is what you shed hunt right here. Look at that. Fresh five pointer and a sticker. Good deer. That's a nice antler. There it is. Well, maybe with a little searching here this afternoon, we'll uh, be lucky enough to maybe find the other side. I was actually on my way to uh, the spot that I shed hunted in yesterday. Um, I worked the spot this morning, didn't come up with too much besides 
this big huge four point, older one, um, but really not a lot, and uh, but lots of deer sign. So I decided, well, maybe get some numbers under the belt. I'm gonna beeline it over to where I shed hunted yesterday, where I picked up a whole bunch. And I'm kind of halfway in between my morning spot and uh, where I went yesterday right now, and I picked up this one. So maybe I'll just work in around here. Uh, Cause I think I did pick it over pretty good there yesterday at that, at that spot. So we'll uh, hopefully match this up and maybe find a couple more. Back at the uh, truck here from where we left early this morning we went for quite a few hours today uh, I think we left the truck at 8 and uh, it's 3 now and uh, yeah so we just got back still ended up just with the three sheds and the two uh, that I brought back with me and the one that we left there so but, uh, not as productive as yesterday but uh, the two that I brought back with me today were uh, are pretty nice sheds so you can't complain when uh, you find stuff like this, that's for sure. That big four-pointer. It's uh, bigger than I actually thought it was originally. It's, uh, it doesn't, it might not look like anything special, but the weight of it and uh, just, the, just the size of its frame is actually, uh, that's a big heavy deer. Well, I thought I'd bring these sheds out today. Uh, I didn't actually find these sheds today. I found these uh, right at the beginning of, or middle of February this year. Uh, first time I went out shed hunting in 2011, I found these. Um, showing them to you today, just because that day I was having some technical difficulty with my video camera and uh, none of the footage I took that day actually recorded to the tapes. So I figured these ones were the most noteworthy to show off. So the uh, It'll be a good buck next year for sure. Some great brow tines there. And uh, both uh, both sheds lie in fairly close to one another um, near some uh, bale stacks this winter. So I actually shed hunted in this spot yesterday. It's the first spot I went to yesterday and I found four more but this ended up being the, the best buck from that area. So. Definitely a good deer. It's got some great beating. And he's got a little uh, non typical point coming out of the base there on this side. Great brow tines. heck of a buck. Definitely some big bucks in this area, that's for sure.